think we're back. To wait and see, but uh, yeah, that was certainly not obnoxious at all. Just pointing that out there. Ooh, <laughs> definitely not fun to have to deal with that. Apparently, my computer froze. Something that's become kind of a recurring thing with streaming for whatever reason. Not exactly sure why that is. Well, last time I left off, I actually had returned to Windia. Now, there's some things that have actually opened up at this point. One thing is actually way over here that we need to take care of, if the game will let me. And that thing has to do with this section right over here. But before we do that, we need to do a task first. And I think it actually requires me to go all the way back over near Makus Gorge. Wait, no, actually it's over here. At this old hideout where the river gang used to be. We need Peko. And you need to have him in the front. And he needs to headbutt this tree. You find an item called a flower jewel. That's actually very important for a quest. You're actually not supposed to know where that is right now, but believe me, the going in and getting it now will save you some time later. We're about to unlock something awesome. Oh shit, I need Peko for this, don't I? Damn it! <laughs> uh, Peko, your time will come, I assure you, but for the time being... You're just getting in the way. Run from everything. Pfft. Well, you saw Peko for a second. counter by becoming a giant freaking muscle man and punches things. Which looks impressive, but... Wait, really? Uh, I still can't do it. What the hell? Really? Maybe I have to have it. Okay, yeah. Now let's try it. Nope, still not doing anything. Really? Something's wrong about this. Hmm. Maybe, maybe they just won't let me do it yet. That's odd. Huh. I'll show it off later, I suppose.
But that is where we need the flower jewel. However, I can't seem to get the fairy to show up yet. So, you have to wait on that. We are back in Windia, though. Which means, once again, we have access to a hospital where we can get stuff. This is actually kind of useful going into various areas. Especially if you have change block. Change block actually helps um, status effects. That will be useful in a later area we're going to be visiting, trust me. For the time being though, we actually have to go back to the castle. Oh, there's the inn. <laughs> Way over there. Go figure. This part is actually kind of annoying, I will say. Now you can buy bread here for 20 zenny, but it only heals 20 HP, so it's really not as useful as you would think. Especially since uh, you get two free bread right there, and really healing herbs cost less than that to heal 40, so... She has some explaining to do. <laughs> yeah, that's probably quite the conversation. Too bad we never see it. Because by the time you actually pick up on the conversations, he's already been through all of that. At least he's not a hard head about it, and actually listens to reason. This time, at least. Don't say it.
Yeah, it's gonna be kind of hard to convince the king to just let her keep adventuring like this without a good reason. I love how guards just keeps budging down on whatever those things are. Oh, I'm supposed to press the X button, okay. Now, Nina is a member of the party, so... Yeah, Ziff, you're extremely useful. Now, you want to check all the... areas here. There is a lot um, here that you could end up missing if you don't look around. And you only really have two chances to ever explore the castle, so take advantage of it. Drop something. What? Yeah, that did look like honey. Oh, crap. Yep, honey came and snuck in with us, but we left it behind. Ah, uh, yes, the queen. Well, you're quite a piece of work, aren't you? I'm taking your coin. Your one coin. And a healing her. Yeah, the queen's a piece of work. Wait until later in the game. And another healing her. Well, at least he understands. You do realize I'm right here, right? <laughs> wow. That's something else, let me tell you. Now I gotta find where Honey is. Easier said than done, believe me. That's not her fault if something hit her leg. Oh, and hey, there's this. Panacea. Can I, like, look inside that? Okay, there's nothing. Hmm. 
Okay, you're not saying anything special. Upstairs. Hmm, not yet. Though we will be coming back to this later. This could be the only place I haven't been. And this is leading to, to where the jail was, so... Well, at least I'm on the right track. Guessing I go this way. This is actually another reference to uh, the previous Breath of Fire games, because it looks like the chef for Breath of Fire 2 that teaches you a chop move that is really useful. He teaches you something similar in this game, though it's been severely nerfed. He is a master later on, though. I just can't do... Now look, you just said if you saw a rat, you'd kill it. So... Go kill it. <laughs> You don't know what honey is? And you carve yourself a chef. Yeah, that guy is obsessed with chickens for whatever reason. And found another panacea. I think the coin is the big thing you want to grab though. There's not too many of those. You need to turn the camera to actually see what you're looking for. There's honey. I don't know, I mean, looks that looks kind of different. Unless they're blind, I don't think they're going to think that. Okay, you guys are guessing the same thing, so... Okay, so you're all saying the same thing.
Okay, so we know where it went. Now we actually have to go out to the balcony. I have a feeling that that's a reference to previous Breath of Fire games where the Windians actually had the power of flight, kind of. Though it's weakened over time. The continuity of the Breath of Fire series is pretty confusing. I don't even bother trying to find any type of continuity here. If anything, it's just a cameo. Or at least a reference to previous games because trying to apply continuity to the series is like trying to apply continuity to something like Kingdom Hearts or Zelda. It's not going to end well. Uh, nope, never seen, not seen her lately. Is it really possible to run out of that? Chrism Energy, yes, but Chrism? I mean, I'm guessing Chrism Energy is what she meant, but it's just weird. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Eh, good and evil's not that black and white lady. Keep in mind her saying that. Well, we actually have our party back, so that's nice. Now, for the most part, I don't really have too much I can really do in terms of side quests. We're about to open up a couple more fishing spots, I think, but ultimately? We're about as far as I can really go with people. One thing I can, however, do, which has been coming for a while now... Bunyan and Migus. I did some 
work on Micus already, but Bunyan has nothing. I'm going to be repurchasing uh, Momo to Bunyan. Not Ryu. You'd think it would be Ryu, but there's a problem with that. Bunyan um, makes you suffer quite the AP drain. defense and strength will go up faster but your AP and intelligence won't go up as quickly eh, that's fine Momo's more of a fighter anyway now there is also another master that we can do now that we've taken out Bealey on Sunder However, the requirement to unlock him is rather annoying, I will say. Assuming I haven't unlocked it already. I might have, but I doubt it. Yeah, yeah you remember that guy at the pub that wouldn't stop drinking? Yeah, we have to go talk to him again. Also, while I'm here, yep, they won't let you back in. Once you defeat Bailey on Sunder, I believe they closed this up, so you can't go to those shops anymore. fights in a row without taking a break. He means without resting. At all. That can be quite annoying. It's not the hardest condition to apply for, but it is still a pain to be sure. Can't do much about that for the time being. But we're about to do Nina some good, I'll say that much. I think Nina's got enough speed to keep her going for a while. Let's give her a Magic Master for a change. Sure is. Now, I, I've got some skills off him already. I don't know if that counts for other students. I think you actually have to get the maximum of levels for a master, even if you've got some with another character. That's kind of bullshit, but that's the way it works. Still, he's gonna be the best choice for Nina for quite a while now. That's pretty annoying, but... It's really hard to decide what's a good choice for Ryu. I'd like to have a strong Strength Master on him that doesn't really lower his AP too much. Strength and AP, you know? But we don't really get a good choice for that until way later in the game, so I don't usually stick him with anyone.
Well, here we are at the checkpoint. Well, that's a good save. He has a reason to feel that way, though, because... Yeah, that totally explains why you left her back at the castle, right? And he's just trying to dodge the question. Eh, not that simple, I'm afraid as we're going to be finding out later. And there's a new fishing spot. Anything new? Flying fish. Uh, yeah, two I'm missing. Wonderful. Alright. I think there's another one, too. If you go down here. Yep, that's what I thought. Each famous for good fishing. Huh. And two more I'm missing. Great. We also have a question mark area over here. This guy. By that, he means have you fished a heck of a lot. This guy's a master. His name is Giago. Um... This guy is interesting. He increases HP and AP a whole lot. Not so much anything else. He actually lowers those. That actually makes him pretty good for Gar, though. Because Gar already has a lot of HP, but AP he needs a lot of. And he doesn't get that through leveling up, really. So having an, a master that gives him it is pretty nice.
Yeah, that weird guy actually gives you quite the interesting skill set. I don't use them too much, but they are interesting. But I'm going back to Momo for the time being. Believe me, keeping her at a high level is important. And I do mean important. I'll get into fishing a bit later. This is Rapala, a sea town. And it has its own little sea tune to it. Now, if for some reason you didn't have level 2 bait by now, you can see by it here. You can also buy new weapons here, but I don't have money for the time being, so that will have to wait. Getting money isn't hard in this game, though. So I'll be off screening that later. But yeah, here is the level 2 bait. I already have plenty of that, but this is where you can buy it if you need it. At this point, it's level 3 bait you're more interested in, though. That's gonna take a while to actually get, though. Nah. Finding Guildmaster Sinker is why we came here. He's in, in the end basement, which is a pub. And that would be this guy. Ah, dead blame it. In order to find his daughter, you have to go to the other side of town. And oh boy, if you thought um, going through the previous storyline was annoying, having to deal with Bailey and Sunder, this is yet another roadblock. A bit of a smaller one, but it's still gonna be a pain. We see a talking monkey creature here. This whole entire plot sequence looks like it was ripped straight out of an episode of Popeye the Sailor Man, really.
Yeah, there's some um, strife between the three of these characters. Well, that sucks. Looks like we're stranded yet again. For different reasons this time. Huh? The road? Oh, okay, so it's an alternate path. Well, that's great. We'll just take the path, then. I mean, it sounds simple enough. Or a volcano. Dad, blame it. Well, once again, we're stranded. choice but to leave town, I guess. Nah. <laughs> yep, no boat. Yet. Yeah, I didn't talk to people, but apparently the lighthouse is having problems to the north. So, yeah, that would be a solution. <laughs> yep, yeah, may as well make the most of it. Uh, could have fooled me. Oh, jeez. Is he going to try to play matchmaker? This is actually a part of the game that people really hate to death. But I don't really mind it. It's just a little time consuming. For this, we're gonna need... Let's see... Okay, yeah. I think I have everything I need for this. You can go straight to the wharf if you need to. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I love Owen's expression, like, eh, I guess we can just let her do whatever she wants. I already know about the ship, so... Wow, you're pretty blunt, aren't you? Say that right in front of everyone. The game's not even pretending that they're in a private conversation either. Everyone is listening to them. That is amazing. Now, there is actually a side quest here. Well, not really a side quest, but more of a minigame of sorts. Where you actually have to train him to be strong. <laughs> I was like, sure, why not? You said a lot of things wrong, Nina. You're not a very tactful person. <laughs> 